Today, I am taking you to a retro 90s movie theater full of beautiful neon lights and stadium seating for IMAX. The theater opened its doors in 1999 and had a very good run with business, but as time went on and streaming services have become increasingly popular, the fate of many movie theaters will come, and that's the story with this one. Only about a year ago, this amazing theater closed its doors for good. So join me today and let's see what's left. What's up everyone, it's Big Banks. We have made it into the abandoned movie theater and guys, this is the absolute craziest abandoned theater. Honestly, it's the coolest theater I've ever been in. This place is full of neon lights, crazy carpets, everything's still on too, and this place is huge. You guys know the rest of the history we already talked about in the beginning, but guys, I'm so excited to bring you in this place. I'm a gray ex today, and we're just gonna hop right into it. We're gonna go to each theater room. We're gonna see the concession stand, where you come in at, all the neon lights. This place is absolutely crazy. Cannot wait to show you guys. Let's get right into it. Guys, so this is the first theater room that we're coming into when we get inside this place. Now check it out. This place is the best abandoned movie theater I've ever seen. Look at all these chairs. Everything's in like perfect condition. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the AC is actually running in here in the middle of the winter. So it's kind of cold, but we're going to go to each theater room and show you what's left. Now guys, you guys know I've done an abandoned theater before. I'll link that right above right here, but this one is way better. There's no rips in the screens. It's in perfect condition. Check it out. This place is magnificent. I'm so excited to show you guys the rest of this. But let's keep walking around this room. We have a lot of theater rooms to see, including a huge one back towards the middle. And you guys do not want to miss the concession stand. We're gonna hit that on our way to the other side. So stay tuned. It'll probably be somewhere in the middle of the video. Let's get right into this. Let's see what else is left. Check it out. So they got like these, this black flooring with these gray chairs. And check out the rugs. This goes throughout the entire place. I typically don't do a lot of movie theaters, but I could not skip out on this one, guys. How incredible is that? Wow. So we're up at the top now. You can see the speakers are still here. This is where um, the projector would have been. And check it out. Even for the small one, this is a huge theater. This is so nice. This is definitely one of the coolest places I've ever been in. All right, we're gonna head on to our next theater room. Look at all these footprints. This is crazy how many people have been up in here since it's been abandoned. But with that being said, it's still like super intact for being all these people up in here. Let's move on to the next one. This is theater four, capacity 106. Check it out. This is what you see down here. It's full of neon lights. The whole place really gives you a Five Nights at Freddy's feel to this place. So now we're in tank theater five, capacity 184, so this one's a bit bigger. This is a movie poster. 
For what movie? Beowulf. That's a huge movie poster. So this one is a little bit bigger than the other one. 184 can fit in this theater. So yeah, we're seeing the same thing. Bigger screen, all the seats covered in dust. But in this one, all the curtains are red. And you got the speakers going all the way up the sides. This is the cleanest, not so clean, abandoned theater I've ever seen. I've only been in one theater that can compare to this, and that's the Warren Theater in Oklahoma City. Um, it's not abandoned, but it's very neon lights, um, and it's much bigger than this one. Either way, for being abandoned, this one is absolutely crazy. Yeah, this is theater room five, and we have a few, we have a lot more to check out. We have a whole nother side, and we still haven't even seen part of this side yet, so we're gonna keep moving along, but I hope you guys are enjoying this. Check it out. Maybe we should get an overview. Look, somebody's been spraying yeah. the fire extinguisher. That's probably where all this dust is. Yeah, it's all red up here. Wow. One thing I really like about this is all these lights that are on the steps. It's pretty neat to see. You can see how large this one is. This room right here it says happy birthday. This must have been the party room. The glass got shattered in here. Looks like they threw a rock through it. So this is where you would have had your little birthday parties at the movie theater. It's pretty neat. See right here, they would have had movies, like upcoming movies, displayed all right in here. You see the lights are still on. And this looks maybe like a storage. Yeah, this is a storage room. And yeah, this room, this is private. Probably another storage closet or maybe even a maintenance. And now we're entering I'm gonna guess this is theater like seven or something or six. Didn't say the uh, the amount of seats or anything. We're gonna check it out anyways. Again, I think this is all like fire extinguisher powder. Yeah, it's green in here. So I wonder if like this side is green and the other side is red. Of course this has some decay in it, some damage. See the curtains have fallen down right there a little bit. But again with the seats it's all the same thing. And even a little bit more decay right up there, which it might not be decay, it's probably like kids, but they didn't really do much to it. I even love this railing, I didn't realize this. It's like a zigzag. This place is like so retro. Five nights at Freddy's feel. It's basically what this is. Screen's not ripped though, so that's good. We're just gonna move along because we have a lot to see. It's so weird being at the movies when nobody else is here. So we got one more. One more theater room right here on this side. And this one doesn't have any of the uh, stuff in it like that. And this one's actually smaller than the other ones. This one's a bit smaller than the other ones, but it's red in here. So they had like a red and green uh, thing going on with the, with this side. Makes me wonder if the other side's any different. 
because there's a whole other side of this theater. This is one large theater that we're in right now. I'm just loving the carpet. Wow. Comment down below the last movie you went and saw down in theaters. I, um, what was the last movie I saw? I think the last movie I saw was I went and watched the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park with my son and my girlfriend. Pretty amazing. Comment down below the last movie you saw at theaters. And tell me, where do you guys sit at the theaters? Do you want to sit close, in the back, in the middle? Where's your sweet spot? But anyways, let's keep looking around. We're going to make our way towards this hallway and see these other theater rooms. Hit the concession and then head on to the other side. So let's check it out. You can see this hallway here. See the neons and the colors, purple, blue, yellow, everything. So amazing. Just wait till you see the lights down there too. This doesn't say the theater number. We'll go in here and this one is green. And this screen is wide. Why is that screen so much wider than the other ones? That's crazy. You can see I think this is a, yeah, that's the fire extinguisher dust. At least the vandalism is to a very minimum in here. And it's just somebody spraying fire extinguishers. At least footprints everywhere. What a cool theater. I wish I could like just count how many seats there were, but there's too many. <laughs> there's well over a hundred seats in here. Yeah, this one's not the biggest one. You know, in every theater, there's like one room that has like a lot of seats, like the biggest theater room. I think that's more towards the middle. It might even been IMAX, I'm not too sure. But we're gonna go check it out. We still have a few more theater rooms to see before we go down that way. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. And uh, yeah, I'm loving this. Feels like the heat's on in here. Yeah, this one's, again, a red one. No chairs missing, nothing. It's too clean up in here, man. <laughs> it's so cool though. We're kind of moving a little quicker through these, like smaller ones. Cause I want to get you guys to the really, really good stuff. Take you into the men's bathroom. We got checkered floors up in here. Kind of creepy if you ask me. Wow, there's so many stalls. So ladies, this is what a men's bathroom looks like if you haven't seen it. <laughs> really got this, it's got this fire extinguisher stuff all over it. But this is your men's bathroom. It's a very retro feeling. So now we'll go straight across into the women's restroom. And we'll see it's much cleaner in here. Look at these floors. The only thing that's gonna be different is there's not gonna be urinals. Wow, it is clean in here. The flickering lights makes it so creepy though. Oh, it smells like piss in here. Oh, reeks of piss in here. Why in the girls' bathroom? Wow. Capacity 257, that's our biggest one yet. Let's check it out. I can already tell this one's massive. 
Oh yeah, but it's so dark in this one. Wow. Look at all the lights going up. This place is nuts. This one's super clean too. Floors are like shiny. But this one is definitely the biggest one we've seen yet. Now I know IMAX is much bigger, so maybe there is an IMAX one, but we'll find out. But 257 people, that's a big, that's a big theater room, guys. And there's supposedly an even bigger one. So let's make our way around until we find it. I can, I'm like so ecstatic showing you guys this place. All right, so Alex is telling me that there's this theater over here that um, is absolutely huge and crazy and that I should give you guys a raw reaction. But I gotta show you a little bit of what's going on here. So there's something going off, but check this out. Wow. You know, guys, I'll come back to this because this is amazing. Oh, it looks massive. Go to the left. Go to the left. Is there power on here? So it has two entries. Yo. This looks like an IMAX. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> what? This is massive. This is the biggest theater room I've ever seen. I've never been in a theater room this big. Oh my gosh. This has a section here, a section here, a section here. Hundreds and hundreds of seats. There's even like these murals on both sides. And that screen is massive. Dude, I'm tripping out. I feel like it's, it looks like it's getting bigger. I feel like I'm tripping. <laughs> There's hundreds of seats here. We have to go up there and get a better view of this. Too bad it's not that bright in here. But my gosh, this is a huge theater room. What the heck? Right there is where you sit with your girlfriend. <laughs> Look at how big this is. Oh my gosh. I'm absolutely blown away by this. This is the coolest theater I've ever been in. <laughs> wow. Yeah. With Alex's light, you can really get a whole view of this. Insane. The size of the screen is massive. Wow. to be abandoned to and the mural up here. It's like some kind of palm trees. Hope you guys can see that. What an insane place. I'm blown away. So you guys have to see this. These lights right here. Gosh, this is so beautiful. I can't believe this is like this. This is this is so retro. And there's another one on the other side too. And there's neon lights throughout the whole lobby. So I'm ready to show you guys that. But just get a look at this. Take it in for a second. Wow. We're gonna head into the lobby, guys. And there is something going off over here. I'm not too sure what it is, but we got more bathrooms. See that little light fixture right there? It's beautiful. It's just theater entrance one through 11. So we have 11, 11 rooms right here. That's crazy. Check it out. Drinks, candy, these like tube lights. That was the games area over there. 
but they've removed all the arcade games. Look at the neon lights everywhere. So I don't know if you know this too, but there's screens. These are all TV screens all along here. Starry, that Pepsi, Pepsi Mountain Dew, all your good stuff. This is nuts. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear the static of the lights or not, but it just sounds crazy. You hear that? And these lights right here. You guys see this lights right here? That looks crazy. I didn't even notice these. Those are beautiful. Look at the sheer size of this place. The tiling on the floors. This place is the coolest theater I've ever seen. And here's where you would have bought your tickets and done all that stuff. They would have more movie titles and these things. Just check out the lights right there. It's crazy. I'm blown away. I'm gonna walk out here. There's just the reason I'm not staying in the concession too long is because this the sounds are, it's just like really annoying it's crazy. The beeping and the, the lights, it's just annoying. But I hope you guys enjoyed this part. This is insane. Even got the nachos sign up there. And more movie titles. And then obviously we have another light thing right here which is absolutely gorgeous I just love the, the swirly neons into our kitchen here. It's kind of hot back here, but they've removed most of the uh, equipment. Wash, rinse, and sanitize. This would have been for all your, your sodas and this is what pumps to the machines out there. Then you got your huge ice machines. Probably all for the, uh, the lights and everything. Uh, here we go, guys. So this is where all the projectors and things would have been. Oh, it's huge up here. Looks like they don't have projectors. This theater is completely dark, but it's massive too. It's just as big as the other one. You guys can see it looks so creepy. It's like a whole other world up here. This gives such back rooms vibes. We're literally in the back rooms right now. <laughs> Real life back, back rooms. See here is the other ones. The other theaters. You can just get a view of them all from up here. I was hoping maybe we would see like movie titles. 
or something. But this legit is just back rooms. And this goes down to the movie theaters that are on the sides. Does this place feel like familiar to you guys? It's just a weird feeling place when you're up here. It's creepy. Look how dark it is in this theater. It's creepy looking. Have you guys ever been into a place that really feels like it's just minimal and eerie and creepy? just like a back room's feel. Cause that's exactly what this upstairs part is giving me. It's creepy as heck. Let's go back downstairs, check out a couple of more theater rooms and then we'll head out of here. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, leave a like, share with a friend. Let's keep exploring. All right guys, we're on to the next theater room. And it looks like the same thing is uh, reoccurring throughout the whole place. It looks like it's green and red. And again, the same thing. So we're only gonna go into a couple of more because the rest are literally all the same. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. Let's go into, I think we really just have one more theater room to check out. And then we can head out of here and do all that stuff and head to our next place. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's go to our last theater room. Let's check it out and let's skedaddle. First of all, most of the neon lights in this hallway are gone. See the view down there? You get that neon light, everything like that. But this is our final theater room, guys. I wanted to show you guys the last really big one before we headed out. The rest are all the same little tiny ones, but this is so cool. I'm glad that we got to show you guys this awesome place. Check it out. What an amazing abandoned theater this is. I'm so blown away by this spot. Um, we've really only posted one abandoned movie theater on the channel, and this is the second one. And I don't think I've seen many abandoned movie theaters this good on YouTube. So, thank goodness that we got in here and we got a good video of this place before it's completely gone. Guys, I love you. Good to be back in business. Good to be back exploring. This trip, we've had a lot of fails, but we've had three successes so far. And now we're hoping to go get our fourth and final success before this trip is over. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out and subscribe if you're new. Check out Gray X. He'll be down in the description. And then until next time, Big Banks out.